Hi everyone, welcome to the latest episode of Web Analytics at Market Motive. In today's episode, you're going to learn some really amazingly fun stuff. Um, this episode actually comes um, from a discussion that uh, John Marshall and I were having the other day about how technical do we need to be and how sort of um, marketing oriented should we be and, and who's actually doing web analytics now versus the past. And anyway, all this discussion, technical business and all that. Let me just think about creating an, an episode uh, of this um, series where we could get a tad bit more technical, but uh, only technical enough to the extent that I personally think is necessary because I definitely believe that people who are doing web analytics or who do who need to do web analytics and, and, and truly do analysis versus, you know, reporting and data puking or data capture are... <clears throat> very different from the people who were in the past. So I'm going to pick a very tough topic here, which is reconciling data, <laughs> which is always a really, really tough thing to do um, in terms of analytics. And so let's see if we can strike a balance between getting technical enough, uh, yet keeping it very business oriented and very prop, uh, solution oriented and, and see if we can have some fun. Uh, you don't need to know anything technical really, not not too much. I'm going to make sure that everything I explain here is, is non-technical. So um, but it will still be very valuable for you uh, from a very business perspective. So let's get going. So the first thing I wanted to start with was, the, was a quote. Um, I, I read this in the Yahoo Web Analytics Forum that's run by the Web Analytics Association a long time ago. And it's this quote by Tom Kunif, if, if I'm saying that right. It's from a while back and it says web analytics packages are sold as if they're an automatic coffee maker. In fact, it's more like buying a coffee plantation. You can still get your cup of coffee eventually, but you're going to have to stick your hands in a lot more manure than you ever knew. <laughs> and if there's anything that actually um, symbolizes what we're going to do for the next 20 minutes or so is that we're going to stick our hands into a lot of manure and, and we're going to have fun doing it. So especially if, if some of you are, are have the orientation of being, being detectives, I, I think you're going to have a lot of fun here. So what do I, what do I mean by, by data reconciliation? Uh, let me give you an example. <clears throat> These are the actual numbers for my blog from StatCounter, and, and you'll notice over here it tops off at February at approximately 53,123 unique visitors in blue. Um, and then, you know, it goes up and down. It seems to be stabilizing around 44,000 a month. And now let's go back and look at Google Analytics. And this is the screenshot, exact same time range from Google Analytics and it's 45,710 visits, um, which would actually mean even fewer unique visitors, um, or at least equal to or less than, never more. So 